A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Today is June 29th. Our reading from Deuteronomy is chapter 27. Moses and the elders of Israel charged the people, saying, Observe all the instructions that I enjoin upon you this day. As soon as you have crossed the Jordan into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall set up large stones, coat them with plaster, and inscribe upon them all the words of the teaching. When you cross over to enter the land that the Lord your God is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, promised you, upon crossing the Jordan you shall set up these stones, about which I charge you this day on Mount Ebal, and coat them with plaster. There too you shall build an altar to the Lord your God, an altar of stones. Do not wield an iron tool over them. You must build the altar of the Lord your God on unhewn stones. You shall offer it burnt offerings to the Lord your God, and you shall sacrifice there offerings of well-being and eat them, rejoicing before the Lord your God. And on those stones you shall inscribe every word of this teaching most distinctly. Moses and the Levitical priests spoke to all Israel, saying, Silence, hear, O Israel. Today you have become the people of the Lord your God. Heed the Lord your God and observe his commandments and his laws, which I enjoin upon you this day. Thereupon Moses charged the people, saying, After you have crossed the Jordan, the following shall stand on Mount Gerizim, which, when the blessing for the people is spoken. Simon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, and Benjamin. And for the curse, the following shall stand on Mount Ebal. <clears throat> Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. The Levites shall then proclaim in a loud voice to all the people of Israel, Cursed be anyone who makes a sculpted or molten image abhorred by the Lord, a craftsman's handiwork, and sets it up in secret. On all the people shall respond, Amen. Cursed be he who insults his father or mother, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who moves his fellow countrymen's landmark, and all the people shall say, Amen. <clears throat> Cursed be he who misdirects a blind person on his way, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who subverts the rights of strangers, the fatherless and the widow, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who lies with his father's wife, <clears throat> for he has removed his father's garment, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he who lies with any beast, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he who lies with his sister, whether daughter of his father or of his mother, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he who lies with his mother-in-law, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he who strikes down his fellow countrymen in secret, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who accepts a bribe in the case of murder of an innocent person, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who will not uphold the terms of this teaching and observe them, and all the people shall say, Amen. <clears throat>